Stop clapping. Start again, please, my name is Lucy! How are you all doing? No, no, I'm not going to take my pants off. Right, well, I will show you a little dance that I learnt recently in Thailand. Learned it off a lady boy. They say you've got to have abs to take your top off, so I fucking had some cut in. Don't you wish your boyfriend were hot like me, don't ya? What? Alright. My name's Cleve Salmon. Uh, I'm a qualified chef and uh, was also a copper. So basically what that means for you guys here tonight, and ladies, is that um, if you're bad, I'll arrest you. But if you laugh at me, I may cook you breakfast. <laughs> now, uh, I've always... Um, look, my girlfriend, she uh, introduces me to her, to her friends. She goes, uh, my boyfriend is fantastic. He cooks and catches crooks. <laughs> Fucking pretty inventive if you ask me, but uh, good on you, sweetheart. Anyway, and uh, I thought, look, it's probably not my cup of tea, but the reality is it's better than he's abrupt and corrupt. <laughs> so I'll stick with that. Uh, look, my name, it's Cleve, it's C-L-E-V-E. -E. Um, often so I say Cleavers in Cleveland, Cleavers in Cleavage, whatever. But uh, I... Uh, I've struggled with it. I've always been teased and, uh, you know, people go, because there's no, it's like a cross between Clive and Steve, isn't it? Like it's, it doesn't fucking mean anything. Like, fuck. Mum got it out of a Mills and Boone and I'm like, fucking hell, what was she on? Like, you know, what are we gonna, what are we gonna call him, Terry? I don't know, hang on. <laughs> Let's call him Cleve. Woo! Right -o, give it up. But anyway, I, I can't help but think that it's, Actually, probably be better as a, you know, it sounds more like a disease, doesn't it? Like, imagine someone rocking in to the chemist or the pharmaceutical bloody, you know, the medical centre. Mate, I've got a really bad dose of the cleave. I need some cleave. Like, it's a pretty fucked up name. But anyway, I've learned to live with it. So, cleave salmon, don't forget it. Cleave as in cleavage, salmon as in fish. Now, uh, Got me thinking, um, tattoos, they're funny, like I've got one here, means uh, good king looks after his queen, got that one for you too baby, anyway, uh, but uh, I saw a tattoo the other day and I always laugh at different meanings, uh, meanings of tattoos and I saw one that said, uh, rise and rise again until lambs become lions, seriously, has anyone here ever tried to fuck a lion, I don't know, Uh, my family, um, we, came from, uh, we came from England. Uh, my great, 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 great grandfather chartered a, uh, chartered a ship out, so we weren't convicts, in 1812. It's a long time ago. And uh, apparently they had heaps of coin. I'm fucked if I know what they did with it because I'm the poorest bloke here tonight. That busker that you passed down the street on your way in, he probably has more money than me. But anyway, in saying that, I've tried to, uh, like I felt a little bit embarrassed about it because we're not convicts, all my mates, all their families are convicts. We can't even fucking jaywalk. <laughs> and uh, what do I do? I join the police force. But anyway, so I go, well, how am I going to rectify it? I'll tell you what, I've done my best. I fucking steal shitloads of bread everywhere I go now. <laughs> Fuck them. It's funny, it sort of got me onto the convict thing, and I think, uh, you know, you used to have to be a convict to come to Australia, now you come to Australia, then you end up as a convict. And it got me thinking about the detention centres and, you know, our legal immigrants that become legal immigrants. I'm thinking, they must be doing a really good job in there. What are they doing? Fucking teaching gangland 101 courses? Because, I mean, I don't know, I've had my fucking tally stolen four times in the last month. <laughs> but, uh... Look, before you start accusing me of being racist, I'm not racist. No, I don't hate everyone equally, I'm just not racist. But my grandfather was Aboriginal. And uh, anyway, um, my grandmother loved my grandfather because he would fuck off for weeks at a time. But he was also a really good cook. And uh, 
He, uh, he used to do the traditional Aboriginal cook-up when he was around, which wasn't very often. And he'd do the turtle in the coals. He'd do it in the, you know, in the shell, in the coals, like roast, fucking roast turtle at Grandpa's night. Beautiful. And I fucking loved it because he'd always stick his neck out to make it just right. All right, um, not many people know this about me, but uh, when I was um, younger, I was involved in a, a plane crash, and uh, I was actually the only survivor. We, were, we crashed in Outback Australia, and everyone else in the plane died, and I was quite young, but uh, fortunately for me, I was, I was sort of adopted by a pack of dingoes and raised by dingoes. Um, I ended up with PTSD because it was, fucking, it was a really tough thing, but... Um, Anyway, I don't want to talk about it anymore because I'll probably start howling. <laughs> As a result of my PTSD, I ended up with a really bad case of bedwetting. Mum never really bothered me too much about it. She goes, look, don't worry about it. Cleve will grow out of it. Well, I did when I was 13 because I couldn't fucking find another nappy to fit me. <laughs> but thank you to NASA because they've invented the astro nappy, so now I'm back in the game. Because I'm a big kid now. Right on. Now, uh, with the PTSD, I have to take medication. So post-traumatic stress, it's obviously from being a policeman and having to grow up with a pack of wild dingoes. But, uh, yeah, um, I take medication and I was a bit worried because I've had a bit of weight gain. And uh, I went to the doctors because I was quite concerned about it. And I said to him, I go, uh, Doc, I'm fucking stacked on the kegs. It's like the pie gods have just opened up and gone, fuck me, we'll take him. <laughs> I got put on about 30 kilo. Like, I used to actually, I didn't get fat until I stopped cooking. Now, anyway, I said to the doctor, I go, look, I think it's the medication. I really do. I think, um, I think the medication is making me fat. And he said to me, he goes, Cleve, Cadbury chocolate is not a medication. <laughs> what a fucking asshole. Now, it sort of brings me back to the stupid sayings that we have in Australia. I'm, not, I'm sure we have them all over the world, but I saw it's tattoos, and you see them on tattoos, you see the stupid sayings, and some of them are quite bloody witty and what have you. And I saw one the other day, and it said, it's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. Hmm. I think you'll find that the Vietnamese will disagree. <laughs> I mean, let's, let's be honest. You can feed a fucking whole lot more people with a great day than you can with a chihuahua. Thanks very much, you've been great.